Hey guys, Kakinichi Game Player here, and here we are with another episode of Nuzlocke on our adventure to beat Heart Gold the version, the Heart Gold version. Yes. Um. Anyway, um, if you have not seen the uh, montage, the grinding montage in the beginning, I got a new member. It is Hopip or Majora. Uh, he is a very happy guy, so I thought Hopip would be perfect for him. Um. <coughs> as for new members. Oh yeah, I also evolved um, Mareep into Fluffy um, in the montage, I believe. This was a week ago, I'm not too sure. Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm over-commentating again, just to let you know. Um, I'm over-commentating again because I was <coughs> I was sick during when I was playing this. I wanted to play it, I, uh, and I, I'm still sick now, but <coughs> not as sick. So I, you'll hear me call throughout the episode, but yeah, I'm over-commentating. Um, and here we see Team Rocket. You don't know who we are? What? We broke up a long time. Give me a break. We did not. Blah, blah, blah. I, I don't care what you have to say. So it, apparently this continues the story from season, not season, um, from the original red, blue, yellow, or fire red, fire, uh, grass green. Green grass? F grass green? Wait, it was fire red and grass green, right? I'm not stupid, right? Um... Oh yeah, and then in the video, Skype notifications, and I cut back. Um, anyway, uh, if you're wondering, yeah, I do have almost a full team already with all names, but I don't think I'm gonna keep all the mem no, 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 I'll keep all the members. But I'm pretty sure somewhere along the line, I'm probably gonna have to uh, to um, probably gonna have new Pokemon because. I'm not good at Pokemon. I usually play because it was fun. Like I never really, I did at one point get into the game so much where I studied like the statistics and everything. But I, that was like a long time ago. So now I don't remember a lot of that stuff. So it's not like I'm a pro at this game. So some of you will die. Unfortunately, don't be sad if you're one of the people that's named and died. But to the people that's wondering, oh, there's one spot left. Who is he gonna name me? Um, you, there's gonna be a plenty of chances for me to name you. I'm gonna continue Nuzlocke even after the Heart Gold, so there's plenty of people I can name. Um, it's just a matter of who to pick at the right time. Uh, let's see. All right, so I'm, I'm running out of I'm running out of embarrassing stories to be honest. I well I have plenty. I just don't like I I didn't think of at the time and. Like, I have to think of my embarrassing moments. Uh, n not everybody likes to keep their m m uh, most embarrassing moments in the back of their head. Or in the front of their head. But, um, yeah, so I have to I have to try, like, mem remembering it. So, and people don't like remembering embarrassing moments, let me just tell you that. So, we're going to change topics for once. I know, it's, it's a bit scary. We're going to get out of the embarrassing moments, moment depths. Uh, I don't know what I'm saying. Um... I want to talk about a couple other things for once. I, I, I'm, uh, I've wanted to talk about like other things like fears. Um, I'll tell you about a couple things about my fears. Um, <clears throat> I am, I, I really hate heights. Like heights, I cannot deal with. I, I, oh my god. When I, when I get up somewhere so high and I look down like, what the fuck? I'm just like, oh my god. You know. It, but that was the whole reason why I didn't want to be on a roller coaster ever in my life. But I did eventually go on a roller coaster, and I did eventually love going on roller coasters, and it became one of my favorite things to do. Um, but does anyone else get that? Like, how do people? How do the the, the construction workers go all the way to the top of it? Like like um like the twin towers? Like how would they construct such a thing? Like they they have the um. They they don't even have like uh the thing the thing built. They have like the 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 blueprint or like the um the the the, the kind of like the uh the, the skeleton of it. Yeah, the skeleton. And, and they don't even have like anything else besides the skeleton. It's just it's so crazy. You just look down, and you see everything. And then I see these videos online. They're like if you type in people are amazing, there's so many things that's crazy. But like one of the things that's craziest is that people like climb these structures that's like that doesn't have any support whatsoever and they hang on them doing like backflips and shit like what the fuck they're at the, the 
the highest point of wherever the fuck they are, but they, they just... I don't understand. How can you risk your life like that? I, when I look down, I'm just like, holy shit, no, 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 get me to someplace safe. I need a fucking bubble right now. Um, yeah, getting off topic. Well, not really getting off topic. I'm actually supposed to be talking about this. I don't know what I'm saying. Um, oh, you know what I thought was funny? I, I like, I have this little um, script here so that I, I know what to say. Now I'm going to write a little script for when I'm doing over commentary so I know what to say. But I thought it was funny how in each town, the um, the, the, the story doesn't continue until the hero gets on. The, uh, the hero gets there. It's, it's so cheesy, it really is. And then also, did you notice before, I didn't say this before, but there was a Team Rocket member blocking the gym. Because obviously when you get into each each town, there always has to be something blocking the gym before you could do the gym do the uh, battle or take on the gym anyway let's let's get moving i i always uh i always had this weird like I, I don't know i don't know why but like if you think about it team rocket like they're a bunch of snotty arrogant kids like if, if they were in real life they were just snotty arrogant kids that just go around stealing pokemon and just, it, it, like they do whatever they please they have the worst po that's something else i don't get if they steal other Pokemon, no, no, no. To begin with, how do they steal other Pokemon? Look at this. They have a Rattata. They had a Rattata. Uh, like that's the most common Pokemon in Pokemon history, almost. I, I don't know which one really is, but this this has to be up there on the list somewhere. Like they have a Rattata, and and its level is like nine when my pokemon's levels are 14 how do they manage to steal anyone's pokemon and when they do manage to steal their pokemon what do they steal another fucking ratatat because look i'll kill this ratatat and he'll come out with another ratatat like what the fuck they don't have any sense of uniqueness like ha oh, oh, ha you have a ratatat let me just get out my ratatat because i want that ratatat look he has another ratatat like what the hell um it's that's just doesn't make sense to me i, I just <laughs> <laughs> and then, like, their mentality is so... It's just, like, they're literally just a bunch of kids. They're, they're, they literally are, like, at the age of 12 or something like that. They're roaming around. Look, what, what are their parents doing? Even, what is my parent doing? She just let me waltz out of her house and just like, Oh, yeah, you could go, go become a Pokemon master because I have faith in you. There's definitely not, like, a million people in this world trying to become a Pokemon master. And you're definitely going to be the one. The one that stands out above all else. And become the Pokemon Master. Because I believe in you. And I also got money from you just then. Um, hey, Anthony. You know, this is the perfect time for you to call. It, you know, I'm, I'm facing on villains. Like, this is, this is like, I'm being the most heroic I can be. And, and this is obviously when you should be calling me. Because I'm not in the middle of saving all the fucking snow, slow pokes or anything. Snow pokes. Oh, shit. Um, I'm off today. <coughs> Well, I didn't cough that much. You know, I I guess talking a lot more makes me not cough. Um, yeah, that that's I, I really hate the game's timing sometimes when they call you. That that's that, that was completely bad timing. Uh, he just calls me when I'm in the middle of like saving all the slowpokes. Okay. Um, <coughs> let's let's get back into. Oh, you know what? I also wanted to talk about. If you think about it, like villains for super, for like all these like comics and like anime, for anything really, villains, what do they do on their spare time? You know, you, you always see the the superhero or the good guy. They they always they always show their side, but like, but <coughs> sorry, here comes the coughing. <coughs> but the the, the the villains, they you never see their side. What do they do? And there goes there goes my Skype. Okay, that's perfect. I always needed Skype to be there for me. All right, I need to. I don't know why my Skype just continuously turns on, uh, on online when I put it on Do Not Disturb like a thousand times a day. Um, it does it by itself too. It's so weird. All right, anyway, <coughs> like, what do villains do all day? Do they just like sit down with their their, their hands on their chin, just like, and then just rubbing their chin uh, on that like really comfortable chair with a cat next to them? Staring out in a window for five hours, for fucking five hours. What the what the hell do they do? Like, I 
Not even five hours, because they don't do anything else. So it's probably the whole fucking day. And then they go to sleep. No! That's retarded. I'd never want to be a villain. Why would you ever want to be a villain? It, it, like, you just sit there doing nothing. Just thinking. In, in deep thought. What deep thought could they be thinking of? Oh, I'll be taking over this world soon enough. Oh, I'll be taking all over the money soon enough. Oh, I'll get all the babes soon enough. What the hell? The, for, for, for the whole day? Do they think that? Like, you see the superheroes, or the good guys. They're always, like, they're always having fun with their life. They're always having, uh, or, the, or even, uh, personal conflicts. Like, there's always something interesting with their life. But the villains, they're probably just like, sitting there, like, Yeah, this is my life. Yeah. It's pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, I don't know why I'm going on this whole spiel on villains, but... No, just... Like... And sometimes they're so focused on their goal to like take over something or like to do some villainous act that I don't even know how they like live with their life. Like sometimes they just want to get revenge on a, a certain character and like how do you, they, 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 they just don't think of anything else but getting revenge on that character. Like it drives me crazy. I, I'm not even like a good explainer so I can't even give you examples. I, I can't, I'm just... I'm just ranting out from my head right here, so, I mean, probably, probably shouldn't do that. I should probably have some examples so I don't look like a complete retard, but I still do look like a complete retard. I mean, you guys know what I mean, right? Come on, like, you know those villains, like, you just wonder what they do, what they do with their life, and it's, you just don't know. It, it's, it's never going to be found out. I, I don't know, like, real life villains, they, they probably just, they probably video, play video games. Who knows? Who knows? Or they, or they go to a temple with a bunch of monks, and they pray, and then they go steal some money from a bank, because, you know, that's what they do. And, and in Pokemon games, you always see these random, like, things that you always know there's a hidden item in. Like, look, look at this little area. You're going to tell me there's not a hidden item in there. That's so obvious. But so, sometimes they're not obvious, but... Sometimes they are. Alright, you know what? Let's let's go back to talking about our fears. So we talked about heights. Let's talk about the dark. Ho oh, ho, this one's another big one. Everyone at one point in their life has been afraid of the dark. Oh man. I told you guys about the John story where he uh got up at 3 a.m. And, and went home in the dark. Um I don't even know how he's like he had some balls to do that. He he must have had some big ass balls. To fucking get up at 3 a.m. in the morning, walk home. That's like a an hour walk home, and that that's crazy. I'm surprised he even knew how to get home. All right, let's let's not get back to this talk. But like the, the dark. Okay, I I I used to have a uh, nightlight. I used to have a nightlight. Um, and I used to have this uh nightlight because I was scared of the dark, and I used to have my lights on all the time. When I go to sleep, but now, now I'm okay now. Now I'm okay with the dark. But like, sometimes the dark will get back to me and creep up on me. Like this one time, I was walking do down like a dark alleyway. Like I was walking home from my friend's house, like because we live close to each other, and it was really dark. I was like, "Oh, that's creepy." It gave me the chills, and I started walking home. There's no, there's no story to that. Like just, just a regular, "Oh, that's creepy" type of thing. But you guys know what I mean, right? Like. There's always that one really creepy place. You know, there's this one creepy house where I used to live. I used to live uh, on the other side of um, where I live now. Uh, well, I can't tell you of what I, where I live now. Specific things could be bad for me. But where I used to live, um, there was this house that was ginormous. And it, it was like broken down, run down. And it was like... It, it, it was so creepy and at Halloween me and my friend Kevin uh, not the same Kevin though because th the Kevin before you guys know from the trampoline incident that that Kevin's from where I live now the Kevin where I lived back then um, he, he, he was a good friend of mine he's black um, and me and Kevin used to uh, go go around the neighborhood raking the leaves to make money and we always come to this one house and we, we'd always like pester each other who's gonna ring the doorbell first like oh you go ask if they need if they need us to be uh, blah 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 and this one time this one time uh, I don't know 
who this person was, but there was this guy that, that like, parked in front of us where we were, we were uh, pestering each other about it. <coughs> and then he said to us, are you guys going to rake the leaves? And, I'm like, and we're like, uh, we're going to ask the owner? He's like, oh yeah, yeah, you could do it, you could do it. And then he, he drove off. I don't know why, but we that really creeped us out. Like, we didn't even know who this guy was, if he was the owner or not. But he just, he drove by, drove off. Like, who does that? And so then we were like, alright. So we, we cleaned up for like 10 minutes, but like, there was still like another 90% that of it that's like still left. So like, we, I don't know, we just took off there. We were so scared, we were petrified. Ah, uh, that brings off... That brings good memories. Me, Kevin, and them. Ah, uh, good, good memories. But here we are. We're tackling down Proton. Uh, is this... This guy's name is after a, a damn, like, chemistry. Chemistry subject thing. H how do you specify that? Like, what do you what do you call that? Atom? An atom? A proton? I, I don't know. I, I, I'm starting to look really stupid now. Even though I took chemistry. Um, <laughs> I, I'm getting off topic, kind of. I mean, no, not really. Oh, my voice. Oh, God, my voice. Did you hear that voice crack? The other day, I was having a voice cracks, like, nonstop. Because I'm not supposed to be talking this much when I'm sick. And when I do, it's just horrible for my voice. So, um, I have to sneeze. Hold on a minute. Please excuse me. I bet you're all like, mmm, he's just sneezed, mmm, yummy. Yeah. Um. Anyway, I always wondered why the, uh, the Pokemon, the, um, the Pokemon, like, leaders or boss of, like, the bad guys, don't ever have that m many of unique Pokemon. Like, this guy has a goddamn Zubat and coughing. <coughs> How ironic. For me to cough after I said coughing. Um, no, but seriously, they could have gave like the the, uh, the the fucking apprentice of his has a fucking rat attack at level nine. He just had a Zubat at level eight. What the hell? He has a Zubat at level eight, lower than his other like his like underlings Pokemon's levels, and it, this is level twelve. It's pretty commendable, but I still have all the Pokemon. Over his Pokemon, like all my Pokemon's levels are higher, except for like one, maybe Hoppet, because I just got him. Just uh, I mean, M. Joy, I, I just got him like a couple, like minutes, <coughs> minutes ago. So in the game, that is. But look, I just fucking one hit that shit. I one hit your Pokemon. How's that feel, Proton? How does that fucking feel? You know, you, Proton, you're like you're like a young adult. How do they judge who's boss or leader in this in this organization of Team Rocket? Do they just judge by who's oldest? Because this guy is definitely older than all the other kids. He's like a young adult. I don't know. Maybe even a teenager. But if he if he is, then he shows the most immaturity. Because he's he's the oldest and playing stupid little games with kids around five years younger than him or more. It, it, that's pretty creepy. Like he's he's. Just, I mean, I am 18 and I am playing with a bunch of kids. All right, that's besides the point. Look. This guy is like, this guy is taking it to another level. He's not playing games. He's he's like stealing Pokemon, and he's telling these little kids what that that that's right. He's telling them that that's right. I'm just like, okay, that that makes a lot of sense, you know. That that's right, you know. Um, so this is actually part of the. Uh, this is gonna be the end of the video around here. Um, pretty soon actually. And I didn't really have anything else to say around here. Well, I didn't write anything else, but I'm gonna try to go freestyle here. Well, that, that past episode that I did overcommentate, that I did freestyle, went out pretty good. So I, I don't, I don't see me really failing here. So, well, let's let's talk about the dark again. Have you guys ever like felt really scared of the dark? <laughs> Shit. <coughs> Some snot just came into my mouth. Don't ask how that happened. Please. <laughs> um. Yeah. Um. The dark. 
Well, it's kind of too late now. There's like a couple minutes. There's like a couple seconds left in the episode. Well, I hope you all enjoyed the episode. We'll take on the gym leader next time. See you guys next time. And the video ended without me. Shit!